Hi, uh, this is carrying on from the trig to the lesson two, where we were doing some proof, which is a bit full on. Oops, how's it doing now? Go away. <laughs> Work. There. Right, there's quite a lot in this lesson in terms of things to work your head around. So, it's all about solving trig, and you can use your graph for it, which is nice. But it's things you need to be aware of. This is telling you that all your answers should be minus 360 and 360. And that changes, so be really careful. Keep an eye on that number. Now, what this equation is doing. It's looking where y equals sine x and y equals 0 0.6, where they cross each other. So what I do is, in terms of a plan, I find the first angle, the principal angle. So I do it using inverse sine or cos or tan. But randomly, you can also call it arc sine, arc cos, arc tan in a... Uh, an exam question. So this is the first thing I'm going to do. So I know I've got sine x is 0 0.6, so x is the inverse sine of 0 0.6, and I do that on menu 1. Uh, let's get rid of that, so I'll bring that up. So menu 1, check them on deg, I'm not, so I'll just change it over to degrees. There. And now I do shift sine of 0 0.6, there, and that gives me my principal volume, the first one I get, 36.9 degrees. This needs to be shown, you need to show this, because potentially that 36.9 isn't in the numbers that you want. Right, so in terms of my graphing, if I go to menu 5 now, Let's get rid of these. Oops. Somebody's way ahead of the game if they're on that. So I'm looking where sine of x crosses 0 0.6. So if I graph that, right, so I'm going to sort out my axes. So I'm saying from minus 360 to 360. If you remember the other day for the scale, I said put it as 45. And then because it's just sine, sine and cos, it goes between plus or minus 1. So I set it between plus or minus 1.1. There. So let's get a nice picture. Now that picture is one that I would copy down. So there's my sine graph. And it goes up to 1, which is there. So 0 0.6 would be a line going across there somewhere. 0 0.6. That first value there was the 36. Point, what was it? Was it 36.9? That first value is the 36.9 that I've got out. So my other values, if I use my calculator, so F5 for G solve, and then intersect, so it gives me one value, I might get this wrong here, at minus 323.1, then press right, the next one is minus 216.7, Press right, the next one is the 36.9. I have to check the completed fact to make sure they're alright. Yeah, so. Go on. And then the last one is 143.1. So I use menu 1 for the principal value, I draw it on my graph, and I get all the other values out. Now there's other things to be quite interested in this, because the, the sine graph, if you look, that value there was 36.9 in, but this value here is 36.9 in from 180. That value is 36.9, so this one over here, in from minus 360, and this one is 36.9 in from a, minus 180. So I can use the symmetry to help you get some good values in. Right, so that's five minutes for that one. Let's do the next one. Um, 
I'll do them in batches of two, maybe. Right. So the next one says, solve tan x is minus, this is 1.8. So I've got my, my range, I'm going to get my answers between minus 360 and 360. And I'm looking where, oops, the right line equals there. Where y equals tan x crosses y equals 1.8. So the graph of tan goes between plus or minus infinity. So when I graph it, I need to be wary of that. So the first thing I'm going to do, that's the second thing over there, isn't it? Is put down that tan x is 1.8. So x is the inverse tan of 1.8. Do that on my calculator. So menu 1, shift tan 1.8 is 60.9, so x is 60.9 degrees. So that's the principal angle I need to show that I'm menu one. Then I'm gonna graph it, so menu five, menu five, uh, I'm doing tan x, so tan x, and then do f2, f1 to delete, and that's 1.8. Now remember, I had it set for um, cos and sine, so the, the y axis isn't very good. So I press F3, I reckon if you change that to about minus 8 to 8, it probably looks alright. There, it kind of looks like that other one, doesn't it? So what I'm doing is I'm putting a line on at 1.8 over here. Put a line on at 1.8 because that's 2. So that's at 1.8. So my first value that I've got out was 60.9, which is this one here. And what's quite nice about the tan graph is it repeats every 180. So if you didn't know, you just add on 180s or take away 180s, and it gives you all the values you want. But if I do G solve and intersect, I've got, what have we got? Uh, let's say minus 299.1. So x is minus 299.1, press right, minus 199.1, so I'm adding on 180. If I can add on 180 again, that's where my, uh, what have I got here, so I go, that one, that's my 60.9, I can't really make them sure, that's not the one nine, so it's 119, that one. I can't really see on the uh, picture. That's 119.1. One, one, nine one. And that's my 60.9. If I add on 180, it should be 240.9. Yeah. There you go. So with this one, with tan, it repeats every 180. Uh, so I'm either adding on 180 or taking away numbers off 180. There. So that one's done, I'm going to stop there and I'll do the next two questions.